So, welcome to another very short and very fast tutorial of uh, this channel, Benchmarks IT. Now we're going to see how to set up properly MSI Afterburner. Easy, the easiest way. Just go on the website. This is the, their new page, they've updated it. You just go scroll. This is nonsense. Scroll the nonsense, go downstairs, click on download the Afterburner, you will get it. Just install, say yes to everything he needs, and then you don't need to reboot the computer, you will have your application ready to go. Now, you will be greeted with this uh, interface. If you want to change it, it's straightforward. Click on the options, scroll to the end of it, and just change it. But for the sake of the tutorial, and just keep the, this, the basic interface. Now, I said this was going to be short, and it is. Now, if you want to overclock your card, now this is 2060, it's the same for every card. First of all, you need to um, check and start your software with Windows. Uh, check this, both of these, don't matter, you know, I know it's in Italian, just don't care. This should be start with Windows, uh, start in icon form, just tick both of them, alright? Now, these ones. You, you need to take uh, unlock the voltages if you want to overclock it seriously. Now we're not going to do that now. Just tick them for now, for the future being. You're not going to touch the voltage. Don't worry. First thing to do, the fan. Now you want to uh, enable the software that dynamically changes the fan speed. This is incredibly basic. Just use their custom fan curve. If you want to change it a little bit, you can simply move and pair it, it depends. Uh, if you go too high, it's gonna be loud. Doesn't matter which card you have, it's gonna be loud if you put it on 100%. Uh, the temperature is going to drop, so value for yourself. If you want to, you can just use their stock curve, apply, hit apply, and it should be over. Now, let's say you want an on-screen display data of everything you're running. Let's say you want to see your GPU temperature, your frame rate, you want to see your CPU temperature, your CPU utilization. Now, you go in the third tab of MSI Afterburner Properties. Now, you inside you're going to see a bunch of stuff. Just click on what you want to see on screen while you're gaming. Just click the exact thing that you want to see. In this case, GPU temperature. You hit, you tick show the information on screen in real time. You take this one, you take all of the data that you need on screen while you're gaming, and then you hit apply, like the shown example. I want to see the fan speed of my graphics card. I want to show it on screen. I click apply, the job is done. Now, RivaTuner is coming in. This is another software that will be installed alongside Afterburner. You don't need to do anything here. Just set start with Windows. Be sure that on-screen display is on. Set it to medium. And then you just want to uh, set the, the font size for the on-screen display. You can set it how big you want, depends how your screen or your preference, don't care, doesn't matter. Now you hit apply, you click OK, um, after banner will run in the background, don't close it, don't close it, just put it in background. Now you want to overclock your card, fine. If you have a, an NVIDIA GTX or RTX, which is mostly recent, you can do the overclocking scanner. Click OC scan, just go click scan, it's going to take up to 20 minutes. After that, you will have a curve setting here. Just hit apply and save to one profile that you're liking. For example, I already have a profile. Um, I click it, it's loaded, and then I hit apply. Done. Memory clock, again, just click it, add the number in. doesn't really matter. But keep in mind, whatever value you type in, it's not immediately registered. You need to apply it first. So be careful on what you do. And this is about it. The software is incredibly easy. You don't need to do anything else. Start with Windows, start icon. The graphs are all here. 
remember to just enable on-screen display, hit apply and the job is done. You will be able to see data while you're gaming. You will be able to overclock the voltage as well if you know what you're doing. Otherwise, don't touch the voltage, never. Temperature limit, uh, you don't raise this one because usually the car these cards will are not supposed to go higher than the stock temperatures, which is a maximum of 82 degrees for my 2060. Core clock, memory clock, I, my advice, just don't touch them for now. Use your overclock scanner if you won't overclock your card. Then this is going to be applied immediately. You're going to see curve here instead of the number. And hit apply. Memory clock, it's just useless to overclock your memory. If you go past 500 or 700 me megahertz, I don't remember actually, you're going to encounter um, VRAM errors, which are not going to be glitches in your game, but most likely you will see a performance drop at some point. So memory clock, it's like 2, 3 FPS more, it's worth nothing. You just want to overclock your core, so if you see a value online that's... Uh, you know, you see someone that has already done the overclock with your same card and model, you can apply that. But I advise you to use the overclock scanner as a beginner. Just use this one, hit scan, not test, hit scan, wait 20 minutes and it's going to be done. And this is it guys. Don't close it, just put it in the background and it's going to run just fine. And this is about it. Incredibly easy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, comment if you want to see something else. Goodbye.